Even nature can be described in numbers. Almost 800 years ago, Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci noticed that there were patterns all around him. In the petals of a flower, the branches of a tree, and the spiral of a snail's shell. In 1202, he discovered a way to describe these patterns through mathematics. He created a number series known today as Fibonacci numbers. The first, simplest, and smallest Fibonacci number is 1. The sequence is built by adding two numbers together and getting the next number. If the only number so far 1 is added to no number before it's 0, another 1 will result. Now there are two numbers that can be added together to produce the next number. Adding the last two numbers in the sequence produces the next number. Each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. These are the Fibonacci numbers. The sequence can continue forever. The Fibonacci sequence can be seen in the spiral of a snail's shell. You can recreate this spiral by drawing a series of squares with side lengths that follow the Fibonacci sequence. Today's activity will focus on recreating the Fibonacci spiral on graph paper. The special spiral is often found in nature, in the whorls of the sunflower, in the spirals of a pine cone, in the shell of a snail. Many animal horns, claws, and tusks are curved to, pit, to fit the spiral, even our own fingerprint. Some are tight curves, like the center of a shell. Other curves more gradually, but each shape fits a portion of the equiangular spiral.